It's been months in the making, with the Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk promising the sooner people got vaccinated, the sooner borders would reopen. Now, just days before hitting the magic 80% double vaccination target, she's revealed the state will open to interstate hotspots on Monday, December the 13th. Fully vaccinated travellers will be able to enter by road or air, but must show a negative COVID test and be tested again on day five. They won't have to quarantine. And there will be extra freedoms for those in border communities. Ashley Stevenson has the story. Delivering the news families have been sweating on. This is going to be a very, very special time of the year. Queensland will open its borders to travellers from interstate hotspots from 1am Monday, December the 13th, four days earlier than initially flagged. The announcement triggered by Queensland's vaccination rate for those over 16 on the cusp of reaching 80% double dosed. We can't predict exactly when, but we know it's going to be this week. Monday has been locked in as the day borders come down in a bid to provide certainty for businesses and those desperate to see loved ones. Some of them haven't seen their grandkids for the first time. Some of them haven't seen their aunts and uncles, their mothers and fathers. It's going to make a huge difference to us for our trade and everything and just being able to all get together again. As of Monday, fully vaccinated travellers from interstate hotspots can arrive by road or air without having to quarantine. But they will be required to have a negative PCR test 72 hours prior to arriving. If you are not fully vaccinated, you must arrive by air only and hotel quarantine for 14 days. Under new guidelines, people will now be considered fully vaccinated a week after their second dose rather than a fortnight. And all arrivals from domestic hotspots must get another COVID test on day five when they get here. For those in the border bubble, fully vaccinated residents will be able to move freely across the border for any reason. They will need a border pass, but won't require a negative test. That includes people in Queensland being able to go into the border zone for a day trip uh, or to visit family and friends. They would need a border pass, uh, but they only need to be fully vaccinated. They won't need a PCR test. I'm going to be able to go see some friends, you know, on the other side of the border and they'll be able to come visit me. With thousands of people eagerly awaiting entry into Queensland, delays are inevitable. The Commission is urging travellers to avoid peak hour and pack your patience. It's hard to predict um, exactly what time frames, but I expect they will have to be extensive. I just know the sheer amount of caravans, you know, waiting across the border to get in. While an early opening is good news for those trapped interstate or wanting to reunite with their families, it also means COVID is coming. In the months ahead, Queensland authorities will face potentially their toughest test yet as the virus spreads in the community and they try to protect regional areas where vaccination rates remain low. This is just the start. And as we open up, even with an 80% double vaccination rate, it means we are far better off than many other countries, many other jurisdictions in Australia. But we will have cases. A COVID reality Queenslanders will have to live with. Ashley Stevenson, ABC News, Brisbane. Let's go live now to state political reporter Rachel Riga. Rachel, is this it? Will this be the end of border closures? Well, Matt, the Premier seems to think so. She says it's not the state government's intention to close the borders again, which is in line with the national plan. And she says the state's high vaccination rates has put us in a good position to reopen next week. They're expecting that we will reach that 90% of eligible Queenslands aged 16 and over to be fully vaccinated by mid-January. But once we do have community spread, it's likely that mask wearing will be encouraged again. And in an indication of what's to come, we did see within the last hour a number of exposure sites have popped up at the Cairns Domestic Airport. So this relates to a traveller who came from Sydney to Cairns last Friday morning, December the 3rd. So a public health alert has been issued for some of the passengers on flight JQ590 and also for two locations within that airport. That includes an airport gate and a luggage carousel. And Rach, what about the vaccine mandate for businesses? When will that come into effect? 
Well, there's been no change for, to that, so that is still on track to come in on the 17th of December. But there has been some uncertainty for businesses about what exactly that will mean, and they've been calling for the uh, Public Health Directive to be released into that. But the Premier says you won't have to wait long. She will be releasing more detail in the next couple of days. All right, Rachel, thank you. That's Rachel Rieger at State Parliament.